Hey everybody, Al Puglisi, Al Puglisi Trains. This is another day in the shop, and this is Howard Zane's shop, but that's not Howard sitting over there. That's Jeff Grove, and for those of you that may not know Jeff, Jeff is the founder of Carolina Craftsman Kits, and he's also a great modeler, so I'm going to shut up and do an interview with Jeff. How you doing, Jeff? I'm doing great, Al. How about you? Uh, I, I'm okay, good, so good. let me get yeah, out. We, uh, we took over Howard's uh, shop here today. Yes. All right, Jeff, so you're the founding father of Carolina Craftsman Kits. Yeah. Yes, sir. So tell us about your journey, what what you did, you started it, how you went about the whole nine well, years. Well, it, it's, it's been about 14 years ago we started doing some kits, uh, as much as anything, just because I wanted something that you, it wasn't available that I wanted for myself, and, and uh, Jimmy Dignan had uh, got me interested in the lasers. Okay. So I bought a laser, and you know, one thing led to another, and the next thing you know, we're pretty busy cutting kits. Wow. And uh, we've retired now. We're, we're done. Mm -hmm. uh, I stopped uh, in, in April of this year, uh, 2024. Okay. And now I'm just working on the layout and doing stuff for my still have lasers. Right, uh, but I'm just doing stuff for myself and my little local gang of of, of hoodlums that uh, <laughs> we we get together with every week. Yes, and uh, and we did an episode, two episodes on my channel of your mm -hmm. layout. Yes, and if you go to my channel and go to my playlist, it's on my front page. Go to my playlist, hit the playlist chan uh, layout visits, Jeff Grove. You can see Jeff's layout, and hopefully next week I'll be coming up for a visit and we'll give you an update. And we've got more done from when Al did those original uh, uh, videos and uh, just a lot more done. We, we got a group that every Wednesday we get together. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes there's 12, 14 of us working on the layout. And, wow. And we're working on trying to get, there's an open house coming up in September, mm -hmm. and we're trying to get done for that and everything. Yes, that's uh, Mainline Hobbies. Mainline Hobbies. Uh, uh, they do a really nice job with a layout tour for all the area, mm -hmm. and uh, I always put mine in that. So. And folks, I highly recommend it. His layout is spectacular. And and one of the buildings that you did, and Howard is really protective of his designs, he allowed you, because you guys are such good friends, mm -hmm. to do one of his designs as a kit. Tucker building. Tucker. And we featured that last night, and that's a O-scale one behind you. And here's the HO one Howard built. And then here's the kit, if you want to show folks the... And those are not available anymore. They're completely sold out. Completely gone, yes. Wow. Mm -hmm. And you're not going to be remaking any kits, I assume. Nope. Okay. And, and, you know, Howard and I talked about, he had been after me a couple of times to do a couple of kits, and we were in the Altoona show uh, expo mm -hmm. years ago, and he said, here would be a nice one for you. So he, uh, he, he told me to mess with the Tucker building, and I did, and it turned out to be a really nice building. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and made a nice kit, and we sold quite a few of them. Wow. So the only way to get that kit is to look for it on eBay. Look for it on eBay. After my, I've seen it at a couple of shows. Mm -hmm. Price is getting up there on it. So right. the last time I saw it, I think it was $380. Holy cow. So uh, <laughs> it's, it's gotten to be readily uh, uh, hard to get. Your kits, they're beautiful, folks. If you go to carolinacraftsmankits.com, is the website still up? Uh, website's down. Oh, I'm, it's down. I'm trying to get it changed. I ran into some troubles. To, uh, when I got rid of the shopping cart, it took okay. away my domain name, and I'm still trying to get that all straightened out. So who was the, hopefully soon. Who was the the host of uh, the, uh, GoDaddy? GoDaddy. Yep, yep. That's happened to a couple of our uh, customers, mm -hmm. that, and I'm worried about that. And if anybody wants to chime in, if I want to set up a website for myself. Mm -hmm. I've heard about if you do anything... And you lose the domain name all of a sudden. Somebody else may wind up with the domain name. Right. And and I'd like to put out all the pictures of an archives website, like similar to what George Selios has done. Right. And where it, I could show all the kits from the past, and that way then guys can start looking for them online. And there should be plenty available that they come up online down the road, just just like George's do. Right. Yep. Just go to just type in an eBay search, Carolina mm -hmm. Craftsman Kits, mm -hmm. and man, yes. you the last couple kits. Uh, that you came out with were killer kits, mm -hmm. big wood, well, and we did several with Jason Jensen, mm -hmm. and those I'm I'm still getting calls on those, of course, to will I redo any of those, and and again when I decided to retire, I just decided I just hung up all the 
all the paperwork and right. just doing nothing but playing for myself. Now. Right. Well, that's that's the way it needs to be. <laughs> so, which do you have any favorites or or they all you, you don't have a particular favorite? Well, my favorite is is the one that was called uh, Foundry Foundry Street from Hagerstown, Maryland. That, that that's a kit that I did from the old uh, Foundry Street that ran in front of the Western Maryland train station in Hagerstown. Okay. And of course, it's all changed now. It's none none of that's the same because of they took the the railroad tracks out of the street, of course. But that used to be just a main track that ran right through downtown or ran through Hagerstown over to the station. Right. And if you look on Facebook under Scott Alvord, mm -hmm. you'll see he just finished another kit. Uh, of the foundry street he found I'm not sure where he ended up finding the kit but he just redid another version of it and it just just came out really nice with the way the uh, the structures and they're based on like most of my kits they're based on an original structure right and again I'm just uh, I'm really fond of Hagerstown and Wilmington North Carolina mm -hmm. and basically all of my kits come from one of their building structures that that uh, you know that are in downtown or or one of their uh, commercial buildings. Wow! And you did the roundhouse at Hagerstown too, didn't did you? Did the roundhouse Hagerstown? Did that one many years ago? Yep, did that. Did did a lot. Of, did the Hagerstown station? That right. Was, that was right. a very popular kit. big one. And you did uh, a couple. Well, uh, Wilkins, West Virginia, Elkins. Elkins, West Virginia. We did the roundhouse right. and we did the uh, engine house. Mm -hmm. and we did both the single and the double engine house there. And then we did the uh, the, uh, uh, the station. station. The station, yeah, that's mm -hmm. a big brick, beautiful. Yeah. And you don't have any. Uh, I was a little. I was out too late last night, <laughs> having a good bit. Of, I think you said it before, but you don't have any kits left over in your inventory. No, it's uh, everything's been sold out. Ooh. Yep. Ooh. Yep. Good God, so, yeah, folks! If you snooze, you lose. I made a video last fall. Do you know Paul Barnes? Mm -hmm. Okay, he bought a couple engines. I snoozed. I was trying to get a better deal for him, and Paul swept in and bought them. And we were joking about it. I said, some jerk, and Paul was there. I'm the jerk. But the moral of the story is, if you see something you'd like, folks, buy it. Buy it. We're all small business people, mm -hmm. and we're not big producers. We're not, um, we're not Bachman. We don't, you know, make 10,000 kits. You know, we make tiny little batches of things. And if you see something you like, buy it. Because mm -hmm. guess what? It come a day, you know, I was thinking about buying a couple of these kits. Guess what? I'm SOL. I'm out of luck. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I've got several guys that uh, keep, actually one guy out of out of Florida, he keeps contacting me. And he says, I, I'll buy whatever you build. He, cut, he said, cut anything you want to cut now and let me know what you have. I'll buy everything that you do. Well, again, I, I'm, I'm tired. Not, I'm not going to do it. I'm, I'm retired, so I'm not going to do anything right now. So, uh, you know, again, he, he should have bought them when, when he you know, saw them at the time. But, you know, it's 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 tough because the problem is we're not making 100. Like Al said, we're not making 100 of these, so it, it right. makes availability a little tough. Right. Some of them you might make just a little batch of 25 or, Some. you mm -hmm. know. Yeah, like absolutely. Absolutely. Jeff, thanks. We're going to speak of the devil. We're going to go down and run some trains on Howard's right. layout. Fantastic. Look forward to it. All right. Thanks, Jeff. Thank you, Al.